Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today I am doing another eye look for you, and this is the eye look that I went for. You can see it's a really pretty pink um, look with um, some winged outliner. It's just very like pretty and flirty and angelic looking. And, and I used one of the Wet n Wild limited edition baked palettes. This is just um, the pink one. It was called Baking Cake. And I love these. These are great. Um, however, they're not available anymore. Um, this should be a super easy look to be able to just kind of like sub out colors and whatnot. Um, the only color that you might have some questions about when I use it is maybe the marble color. But just to give you an idea of what that color actually comes out to be, is just like a really pretty like bronzy, um, like light brownish. Like you can see, it's almost like a coppery brown. So, you know, it shouldn't be hard to find like a nice pretty um, hot pink. This is a kind of a matte color. Um, this is a very frosty baby pink. And then I also used the um, like espresso brown color. You can see that. So um, if you don't have this palette or you can't find it anymore, you know, it shouldn't be hard to just find something to kind of like um, swap out to take their place. Um, but the great thing and the really fun thing about this tutorial is that I didn't use any eyeshadow brushes at all whatsoever. Um, I kind of just wanted to show you guys how I, um, you know, any makeup artist knows that you need to be able to just kind of like improvise and use like whatever is available to you and you know the best tool to use in makeup period is what God gave us in that is our hands so um, a lot of this a lot of you know pretty much the entire look I used um, just some q-tips you can see they're dirty from using them and then I used my fingertips to just kind of like apply color and blend out and whatnot um, so I just wanted to show you guys how I do that um, you know you don't need to have like the most expensive makeup brushes to be a makeup artist or to do a tutorial or you know whatever um, you know makeup brushes aren't they're definitely a nice little addition and they are definitely the icing on the cake to help achieve you know the looks that you're going for but they are not the end-all be-all of makeup so um, this tutorial is really going to show you how I achieve you know a professional quality looking eye look um, with just using my hands and extremely inexpensive beauty tool which is q-tips so keep watching if you want to see how I got this and thank you so much for tuning in start by priming your eyes um, right now I'm using Urban Decay primer potion this is just the original one. And just pat that in. Today we're going to be working from um, one of the Wet n Wild baked eyeshadow palettes. And this is just the... Um, the one with the pinks and the pretty um, periwinkle and blue. Oh, that actually matches my nails. Check that out. Um, and this palette was the one that was called Baking a Cake. Um, but if you don't have this palette, I'm sure that you can easily, easily sub out for, you know, colors from different brand or um, just even similar colors or whatever. Okay, then I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base. And this is the white one. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid and just kind of like blend it completely all over the eye up to the brow bone and it's very important to work with a very small amount of product when you're using a creamy um, eyeshadow base such as this one and just to make sure that it's very well blended and um, there's just a very thin layer of product all over the eye so that you can avoid creasing. Um, but I really like using a white eyeshadow base. Um, I switch usually between this one and the Skin Tone one by NYX. Um, but I really like to work with the white one when I'm working with color because I really like to have that extra pop effect. Um, and it just really, really helps your eyeshadows cling to something and stay on longer between the eyeshadow base and the primer potion um, or whatever eye, eye primer that you used. So the first color that we're going to be starting with is this hot pink over here in the corner. 
and I am taking a Q-tip. You can see I've already used this for this eye. And I'm just going to get that product onto the Q-tip. And I'm just going to start working this in a windshield wiper motion all inside the crease and blending up a little bit onto that um, like little lower brow bone area. And I'm just working with these colors dry. They're damp. Sometimes I really like to use the baked eyeshadows damp. Mommy, I want some Cheerios. Mommy, I want some plain Cheerios. Okay. Hang on, I gotta get some Cheerios for my baby. Okay, now I'm going to flip over the Q-tip and I'm going to take the marbled color that is right next to the pink one and I'm just going to lay that down right over that pink shadow that we just put in our crease area. I just want to point out really fast, um, I never do my makeup without having makeup wipes handy. These are just the Quay Exfoliating um, Cleansing Tablets from Walmart. They're just like the generic Equate brand. And I always keep these handy. Um, you can see the little towelet that I've had near me while I've been working on this eye and my other makeup, how dirty it is. Because I'm constantly wiping off the excess makeup because I'm always blending things on my hands or blending things out with my fingers so this way um, in between you know steps I can just kind of like wipe off my hands and just get that product off so that I'm always working with a clean slate and in this particular look where we're basically a majority of the, the shadows are being applied with our fingers and blended out and whatnot um, it's really important to make sure that you're working from clean hands so I just wanted to point that out and that dries like really quick off your hands so it's not like you're sitting here like waiting for your hands to dry with your fingers so just go ahead and buff those two colors together a little bit more to combine them just blend them out a little and then we're going to take the uh, like frosty pink shade next to the um, hot pink or underneath whichever way you're holding this thing and I'm going to get that product on my finger and then I'm just gonna sweep that across my lid and just kinda pack that color on there I'm also going to sweep that color underneath the upper brow bone for highlight, for a nice highlight, and in the inner tear duct as well. Get that inner highlight as well. Now, the last okay. color that we are going to take is the, um, it's kind of like an espresso brown. You can see that color there. And that's that color. It's like a nice, pretty, like espresso brown. And I'm going to literally just dot that in the outer corner. And ever so slightly, I'm going to blend that in. Just very, very subtly, though. I really want to kind of keep that dark color on the outside of that, on the outside of the lid there. And then now it's a matter of just going back in and blending and brightening up areas that you need to blend. Um, I like to just kind of tweak up a little bit of that pink. And I'm just going to just kind of brighten that up. And I also am going to refresh the color that we laid down over it. Okay. So really, you know, you kind of just want to blend to your liking and you know, make the eyes suitable for you and your face. It's kind of like an artist just working from an artist's palette. Really, that's all makeup is, is just 
kind of like painting a little portrait on your face. You can see how well these colors blend. I really, the the blendability in these colors is just For the insane. upper lash line, I'm taking my favorite cream liner. It's the Maybelline Eye Studio. And this is the Espresso Liner. And I'm just going to go ahead and just line my upper lash line here. And just kind of like wing it out a little. It's easiest if you just kind of like work slowly and in small sections and just be patient with yourself because, you know, doing upper liner, especially with cream liner and doing like a winged out look, really is something that just involves patience and practice and just, you know, finding what works for you. I find that this is my absolute favorite um, cream liner to work with. It just glides on. It doesn't smudge, it lasts on all night. And I just love it. Okay. Okay. For so the bottom lash that. line, I'm actually just going to take the marbled color that we used over the pink, and I'm just going to take the same like Q-tip that I had used for that, and I'm just going to run that along the bottom lash line here just to kind of. Give a little bit of color down there. Okay, and then I'm also going to use a white pencil in the waterline, the bottom waterline here. Okay, and then I am going to do my brows. And I'm going to put on my mascara. And then the eyes are going to be done. Okay, so there you have the finished look. Just really pretty, colorful, but not like too colorful that you feel uncomfortable like wearing this like for a day. Like I think it's a very wearable, um, like easy look to do. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for checking me out. Um, be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter if you um, haven't already. The links are going to be provided down below. And please subscribe. Subscribing is so incredibly appreciated. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.